<laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> so pretty. This is this a Ukrainian you. dress? <laughs> yes, it is. What do you think? <laughs> look at you. I love it. Yes, you look amazing. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Two weddings to the same woman in two years. <laughs> like, come on. That's the best. <laughs> it's the best. That's the kind of love you give me. Selfless and patient love that often leaves me speechless. But not even in my wildest dreams could I have imagined the way that you were gonna enrich my life. I vow to embrace you as you are and to speak aloud the goodness of God in you. Love is at the core of who you are. And I remember on our first date, I told you that I could tell that you had a good soul, and I was really right on that one. It's the type of love I feel God calls us to have, and it's the kind of love I desire to give back to you. And I see these vows not only as a promise, but as a privilege, because I get to spend the rest of my life loving you and your family. Great young man he is, and Clay, we, we love you, and we so welcome you into our family. The most idyllic wedding imaginable. This whole weekend was just filled with so much love. You are kind and respectful, honest and motivated. And if I had a thousand lifetimes, I would search for you until I found you. Every time so that we could do this all over again. I want to just say it's so great that we're here two years to the date of when this all should have gone down. Tess and Clay, you are incredible people. We've been reflecting upon that down here. This is a big table because you're full of people in your life that matter. I know there are a hundred and so many more people that are going to be here in just a little bit. I want to celebrate you, your family, the love that you all have. I'm glad you married Clay. Because the next time I saw you was at Colin and Caitlin's wedding. And he pulled me aside, Clay did. And he said, in six months, she'll have a ring. So this is things to think about for quite some time. And Clay, I'll just say this. The people down here tonight, specifically Rachel and Lauren, said that Tess hit the jackpot. Oh, thank you. So congratulations, let's raise your glasses. Three years ago, I got to watch Clay get down on one knee at Sleeping Bear Dunes and propose to Tess, and Tess said yes without a second of hesitation. Three years and two weddings later, <laughs> here we are um, with just so much anticipation on this day, and it's just really been so special.
Here's to start and over. Here's to start and over again. You all have undoubtedly changed in the past two years. You've made sacrifices that you didn't anticipate, right? You have learned to lean on each other more than on yourself. And I bet, I bet you've even asked each other for forgiveness. But rest assured though, that God is using you all through it. And he's got something in store that's gonna rock your world. The night we told each other we loved one another, I told you I was so sure of our love that I'd marry you yesterday. Little did I know that four years later, through a pandemic and all, I'd be standing here looking into the love of my life's eyes on our wedding day for the second time. <laughs> the love that you give me is the most encompassing and transformative love that I've ever experienced in my entire life. Being loved by you means being cherished and adored. It means showing you all of my flaws, but yet you still look at me like I'm the most wonderful and wild thing that you've ever seen. I told you in our first vows that I prayed for you before I met you. I also prayed deeply about the kind of wife that I wanted to be for you. So two years into our marriage, these are my new vows to you. I vow to respect you and your choices as a father and a husband. I vow to be your biggest supporter and to recognize when you're doubting what you're capable of. I will remind you of how much myself, your family, your friends, and your future children see and believe in your greatness. In me, you will always find an imperfect woman, but one that is dedicated to growing herself and all the people around her. In me, you will have a wife that always has and always will think that you can move mountains. And in my heart, you will have a safe place to always call home. If you guys saw our first wedding video, I lost it way more than her, and I think that's gonna happen again, so bear with me. Tess, where do I even begin? I didn't think it was possible, but you look even more beautiful today than you did two years ago in Kentucky, and I couldn't be prouder to be standing here as your husband of two years in like seven hours. It's gonna be great. You still light up every room you walk in, and everyone that knows you, especially me, is better because of it. You are still the most beautiful, humble, and caring person I know. And I know that wherever we are in the world, I'm at home when I'm with you. If I'm being honest, I sometimes feel undeserving of your love. And I promise to spend the rest of my life working to be the man that you deserve. I promise to love you through the good times and the bad, and I strive to be as supportive of you as you are of me. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. I'm a better man in every way possible because of you, and I can't imagine going through this life without you. This truth, these words that we have spoken, giving purpose to the hope that we
Lastly, I just want to say two or three words, man. I just, we love you and we love your faith in God and we love the relationship you have with our daughter. It's just something that it, it's hard for me to put into words. We love you and you know, we've had a two year trial run, so we're pretty sure this is gonna work out now. So I, you know, I, I feel a lot more confident than some dads may be standing up here talking to you tonight. This is a celebration of all the people who have made us become who we are, um, and that's you, and so we're thankful for you. To our families, we love you. Our friends, we also love you. Um, and then the wise words of my younger brother, Sam Bradley, uh, let's light this place on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present to you all, for the second time, Mr. and Mrs. Clay and Tess Thomas. Woo!